Hello everyone and welcome to round four of the AOR F1 2013 Season 8 Championship. It's the Bahrain Grand Prix. Welcome to the desert for the Bahrain International Circuit. 15 turns, 5.4 kilometres and 29 laps are awaiting the drivers. And uh, well, for the first time ever, we have an American in the commentary booth replacing Scott Woodworth for just this one race. It's Justin Sun. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for having me, Matt. I'm real excited about this race, real excited about the championship, and uh, really happy to be in the commentary booth with you. That's great to hear. And having a look at the Season 7 podium, you can see that Noble took the victory from TRL McCauley, who no longer races in the leagues, with Ricky C also taking another podium. And Season 7 pole also went to TRL McCauley for a 129.6. The strategy is going to be key round here with the temperatures very high and the drivers will most certainly be dehydrating. It's going to be an entertaining race nonetheless. Let's go straight to the qualifying comparison with two of the drivers. All right, so here we are for a qualifying comparison of the Apex Online Racing League here in Bahrain. Today we've got the comparison between the two Williams drivers of FizzyFan91 and KBTK92. Now, these two drivers are fierce rivals, and I'm sure this is going to be another closely fought battle here in qualifying. So, coming out of turns two and three, and it looks like it's fairly even so far as we head to the end of this first sector and we'll see on the freeze frame here we've got Kerry who is slightly in front of Fizzy only by about a tenth or more but uh, it's going to be very close as we head into this technical middle sector now both drivers up on their personal best so far so we should see some improvements across the board here now coming through this middle sector nice hairpin here Kerry hits the apex fairly nicely Fizzy getting a better exit so it's going to be very close as you come into this uh, triple left-hander you've really got to nurse the car in very nicely looks like Fizzy has hit the apex fairly nicely and he's got a very clean exit and now Fizzy using up most of his curves he's uh, elected not to use uh, most of his curves so far in the lap and now I believe he's in front Fizzy hitting a nice apex there getting a nice exit as well so this close to the lap has been very clean from Fizzy and I'm sure that uh, he'll be in front as we head to the third sector now and yes he's green by a tenth and a half and uh, Kerry, on the other hand, has lost a bit of time in this third sector. Fizzy, of course, has a bit of curves to use out of the final corner, and that's going to benefit him massively as we head out of the final corner now. Fizzy runs a little bit wide. Kerry has a nice clean exit, but it's going to be very close as we come, to come up to the line. What's the time difference? It's two tenths between the two Williams drivers, and that has been the qualifying comparison for Bahrain. Thank you, Ben, for that qualifying comparison. So TRL Limitless takes pole position in what is the closest ever qualifying session in the AOR F1 League's history, with only one-tenth separating the top three and another tenth separating the top eight, with the slowest time less than seven-tenths away from pole position. Fizzy Fan in the Williams starts on the front row just to the side of Limitless with his best qualifying since Monaco of Season 6. He is followed by Citizen in third, Powerpuff in fourth, and Exta in fifth, as those three drivers each earn their highest grid position to date. TRL Minty in the Ferrari starts from 6th position, just behind him on row 4 is the second Toro Rosso of Leo Bot and current championship leader X Matty G starting from 8th position. Ricky C could only manage 9th on row 5, followed by the other Williams of KPTK. Minty's teammate Maisie could only manage 11th, but will start on the prime tires as he goes for an alternate strategy, while Trace in the Caterham could only manage 12th. Row 7 is occupied by the Barusha of Gary and the other Caterham of the Continents. Randy McScrandy starts from the back because of a penalty he received during qualifying in China and will start on the primes just like Maisie. In last place, it's TRL Rosberg, who had some technical issues during qualifying and was unable to set a time. That's the grid, and now for the race. It's race time, it's the Bahrain Grand Prix. It's x Manny G and Justin Sun commentating for you today on another no percent chance of rain. There is no precipitation in the air for the drivers today and that is surprising considering rain is in its name. We're on the grid now and there is 16 drivers awaiting 29 laps of this physically demanding circuit. And Justin, for your first race commentating, who's your money on? Wow, that's uh, quite a loaded question there. Um, 
I don't know, one of the top 16. Uh, I mean, this is going to be a really interesting race. It's a pretty easy place to pass, a uh, pretty easy track to pass at. You know, it's not super difficult. It's got some really technical corners. It should be very interesting. Uh, let's make it more interesting. The lights are coming on now. And the lights are out and away we go for round four here at Bahrain. We're on board with Fizzy in the Williams and now to Citizen in the Sauber. Looking to the outside, Fizzy taking a very defensive inside line towards turn one. Limpness getting a great start. Power path now slightly going up the inside and having a look at Fizzy. And he is staying in fourth place. Citizen got a great traction out of there. And that's Leobot who looks like he's been spun round or at least hit as he was ghosted. And is now down to 15th. Ricky now getting caught on Exeter's rear wheel. And Randy making up some places off the start on that prime tyres as we have seen many times this season already. Powerpuff in fourth place still following the leaders. Limitless still out in front at the moment and he's managed to maintain his pole position. Ricky C now trying to regain one of the positions he just lost and back up into 11th place. Powerpuff now right behind Citizen. He almost got past him into turn one but could not manage it and the Sauber driver getting some great traction. Let's see if he can get some better traction out of this very tricky double left-hander and here we go. Can he have a go at Fizzy down this very short straight? He's going to use some of his curves. He almost has a full bar that he is saving so he may well be able to attack Fizzy who has no curves as you can see on the bottom right hand side of your screen Limitless making a slight move out in front as Rosberg has now retired from the race as he has just well he's people were complaining that he was lagging so fair play to him he's retired as KPTK and Trace 92 almost going side by side through that right hander and Citizen now just in attacking Fizzy yeah, really impressive stuff here in the opening lap, and clearly that uh, saving of the curves that Citizen did in that Sauber is paying off dividends here as we're going through the final corner. He's got the inside line. He's already taken that position, and I imagine he's still going to have a little bit of curves to use and try and pull out that gap to Fizzy here uh, after just the first lap. So very impressive stuff from Citizen here after his very impressive qualifying. But of course, Fizzy now has gotten the toe, and he's used a little bit of curves after starting the, the start-finish line, and he is going up the inside of the Sauber, and he's going to have the outside line now for turn two and he is just barely hanging on to it they're going side by side now but it looks like fizzy has barely no i'm sorry powerpuff is gonna s just fire up the inside of both of those cars as they're breaking now for turn four very popular passing location here and wow it is uh just very exciting stuff happening here these opening laps and holy cow there's even more going on in the back here with kptk in the other williams uh having a little bit more of a struggle than his teammate yeah, action galore as x G now we're on board with in the Red Bull up to fifth place now, starting eighth on the grid. Randy McScranny getting involved in all sorts of action here with KPTK and the like of Exeter and Maisie. And it is, well, no one's really spun apart from Leobot at the start, so that's good to see. And these drivers are in such close proximity. Leobot now having a go at Maisie and the Ferraris using the rest of his curves. Gary's now looking like he's having a go, as you can see, the arrow, but he is not close enough to have a go into that le next left-hander. Fizzy Fan now back up into second place and looking like he's actually catching Limitless slightly which is uh, good to see so Limitless is not running away with it at the moment after starting on pole and Fizzy after narrowly missing out on pole position is well and truly with the leader and here we go x G who well he was less than two tenths behind but started eight is now going up the inside of Citizen for fourth place. So Matty making some great moves now uh, at coming towards the end of lap two. He's made four positions and now Citizen is coming back at him with the rest of his curves. So they're going to go side by side and Powerpuff is now attacking Fizzy down the start uh, finish straight and they're now side by side going down towards turn one. This is going to help Limitless a lot if they start battling. Fizzy just about managing to maintain the position. Powerpuff getting caught on the rear end and now Matty has maintained fourth position and may well have a go at Powerpuff into the next corner and who's that that's Minty coming from nowhere now they're three abreast coming towards the right hand and Minty may well take both of them through to this right hand and they're now side by side is Matty and Minty and it's action galore at the moment they're still side by side this is great to see but no not much contact if any and Matty just about manages to maintain fourth citizen down to sixth but Minty a very opportunistic move and almost managed to get a double place there Justin yeah, really amazing stuff there. I mean, that was a great move taking the inside line at turn six. Really impressive stuff. We're going to see a, a replay now on board with Powerpuff at the start of the race, who was having a little bit of a look up at the inside of Fizzy Fan there, but uh, couldn't quite get through and uh, actually couldn't even get by Citizen there either. Uh, on board now with the other Toro Rosso of Leobot, and we're going to see his replay of turn one. And he's got the outside line, which uh, isn't so bad because then you get the inside line for the next turn. And of course, he gets that spin, and that is going to drop him right down into just 
just about dead last. And uh, we're on board with Exta, who really did not have a great start, unfortunately. Oh, man, as, yeah, we see that contact with the Ferrari of Minty, and he loses out on several positions. Uh, starting from fifth place on the grid, he's got to be pretty disappointed with that race start. Oh, wow. And KPTK does a great job of avoiding the carnage up ahead, uh, but unfortunately gets pushed wide off the track and then loses a couple positions. Uh, here's a replay now of Leo Bot, who's going to try around the outside of turn 12. Uh, that was a really impressive move there and breaking now down for the final corner. This is the replay of Randy McScrandy on those prime tires, having to look at three cars up ahead of him, including Exta and uh, uh, the other Williams of KPTK. And uh, here's, here's the replay of KPTK going up the inside of Trace. Uh, wow, I mean, there, there, it's just replay after replay after replay, and we're, we're not even we're not even three laps into the race. We've already seen two events where they went three wide. Here's the replay of one of those events. This was on lap two, where Powerpuff just shot up the middle and uh, tried to take that position off a of Fizzy fan, who uh, defended it to, uh, to very well and held on to that position. Oh, and that, that's the contact there between Ricky C and KPTK, or I'm sorry, Randy McStrandy. And uh, wow, just what an exciting start to this race. I mean, it's it's been really exciting for just about everybody except for Limitless. Uh, Limitless seems to just be kind of running his own race and hasn't really had any contact or really come under threat as, oh, as we're seeing Ricky C at turn 10 just has a little bit of a spin moment and uh, ends up getting pushed into the barrier, but thankfully doesn't lose any of his wing. Yeah, he got caught on the rear end of one of the cars and that caused him to spin out very unluckily towards the barrier. So he then had to put it into reverse and that lost him a good handful of seconds. And we're now on board with Limitless's teammate Matty after a disappointing qualifying now behind Powerpuff to get into a podium position, which is a great start from him. He's known for having good starts after very poor qualifyings. And here we go up into third place is Matty and he can now set about looking to try and catch Fizzy and his teammate and rival in the championship Limitless. But Powerpuff is may well come back at Matty despite Matty having DRS but uh, here comes Minty actually in fact on Powerpuff and uh, Minty's going to go up the inside here and he's broken very late indeed and he's hit Matty and they've both collided now and Matty's lost some time I'm sure he's not happy at all with that Minty just locking his brakes and hitting the Red Bull but he is still side by side with, a pa uh, with Powerpuff despite that contact with Matty and he looks like he's got past although Powerpuff breaking slightly later still trying to have a look up the inside citizen also having a look and hoping that these guys are going to crash or take each other out or something so he can gain a few p uh, positions but minty looks like he's just about managed to maintain fourth position ahead of power puff and uh, it was only 64 thousandths of a second or 84 one or the other uh, which is pretty close indeed through the last sector split and uh, we're now going to see a replay of uh, kptk and trace and also randy battling down towards turn one kptk very uh, offensive on the brakes. Randy even more so, okay, cutting the corner slightly I think into turn one and making the position stick so I'm not sure if KPTK will have something to say about that but uh, back out in front with Fizzy Fan in second place. 1.2 seconds behind Limitless now meaning that he is outside of DRS and that could cause Limitless to just pull away and uh, win this race if he can continue with the pace he's showing at the moment. Pulling away from Fizzy what can Matty do in third? We shall see and uh, you can see that Fizzy and Limitless have pulled away quite a substantial margin from the rest of the field. And that's surprising because, uh, you know, you saw qualifying that was six tenths of a second separating first to 14th. As we now see Randy having a, a go at Trace on those prime tyres. This is, the, uh, the, uh, I'm, I think in lap five is probably the, the sort of switchover point in terms of, well, switchover for tyres for extra. But in terms of the prime tyres becoming quicker than the options, purely because the options are degrading and starting to fall off the cliff. But uh, I think we should expect to see most of the drivers coming in in the next couple of laps. And uh, Randy looking particularly strong in seventh. It's disappointing to see that he got a penalty uh, from China. But uh, if he's, he blocked someone in qualifying, so it was deemed that he did something wrong. And I think he uh, admitted that he had as well. So uh, Randy having to do a lot of work here this afternoon uh, when he really could have put himself up there in the mix. And who knows where he could have been. But uh, now we're back with the Williams driver, KPTK, right behind Trace once again. These two can't be separated for the first five laps, that's for sure. And Trace showing some stronger pace for a change. He's uh, been at the back of the field for quite a while, but he's up there solidly in the points at the moment. 
Yeah, and I, you know, just to go back on Randy, I, I got to say, uh, I'm really impressed with that start from starting from 15th on the grid and going with that alternate strategy. And just as you said, this is really the point of the race where his tire strategy is going to be faster, or one of the points in the race where his tire strategy is going to be the faster tire uh, because of the degrading option tires for the rest of the field, just about the rest of the field. Uh, so he really needs to be making up as many places as he can, and he's doing a great job of that, moving up eight positions from 15th all the way up to seventh on the uh, seventh in on the grid right now at the moment, seventh position. Uh, looking very good for Randy McScrandy if he can keep up at this pace. Everybody coming into the pits now. Matty, Fizzy and some other drivers as well. Matty's been slightly held there in the pits it looks like as the people rushing into the pits. Fizzy also losing a couple of tenths. But he's come out ahead of Matty which is the main thing for him I'm sure. And uh, it's interesting. So, uh, oh no it's not Matty in fact. It was Limitless that came into the pits. Matty's carried on. Sorry I got a bit confused with the Red Bull livery there. But Matty's carried on because Limitless decided to come into the pits which is slightly different compared to what Limitless usually does. Uh, Limitless tends to uh, push the tyres to its absolute limits so that he has fresher tyres towards the end of the race but uh, it looks like he's going for the undercut meaning that Matty has to continue for another lap uh, on his options and Gary has set the fastest lap of a 32.7 which showing that he is pretty fast on those fresh rubber and here's Matty going to the double left and he's made a mistake and those completely worn options he's now run wide that's probably lost him about a second which is not going to help him in his fight against Limitless and Fizzy and in fact Minty is very close behind Matty now as well so he could come under pressure from the Ferrari driver if he isn't too careful we're now with Fizzy's teammate and uh, we now cut to Fizzy in, in fact in ninth position on those fresh tyres and uh, Limitless not too far down the road despite being held for a couple of tenths as well so uh, Fizzy really is in with a shout of uh, at least a podium here surely he showed some great pace in qualifying and he's looking pretty strong in the race as well. There's some traffic coming up, but I'm pretty sure most of them, unless they're on prime tyres, will be diving into the pits on this lap. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see how much of an, uh, an advantage the undercut is as Matty comes into the pits now for a fresh set of primes. And look how close Minty is to him. So uh, Matty's not had a great end to his first stint. And is he going to get out? No, he's not. He's going to get a 4.1 second pit stop, which I'm sure is going to be he's going to be raging in that cockpit. And uh, it's just not working out for him at the moment, Justin. Yeah, that is the last thing that he wanted, uh, especially after that lockup at turn 10. Very easy to lock up at turn 10, obviously. That is a very difficult corner, especially on worn tires. And to have that extra long pit stop, that is really not what he needs in his quest to to catch the leaders um, or even to catch, to, to catch Fizzy and Limitless. Uh, uh, they're, they're about a second apart from each other. Uh, he's just out of DRS range, even after the pit stops of Limitless. But um, Matty really needs to uh, pump in some seriously fast laps if he's going to catch up to them. Uh, it was about a two-second gap, and uh, hopefully we'll see that gap come back a little bit later and we can see exactly where he's at. Uh, but currently we're on board with Powerpuff in the Toro Rosso going through Sector 2. Just behind Citizen, this is uh, the, the sector that's very difficult to follow behind because of the high-speed turns at 5, 6, and 7. And, of course, he's going to get DRS, though, after turn 10. Uh, here's a replay of Citizen on Powerpuff. He's going to have the inside line for turn 1, and it looks like he's got the measure of him under braking, and it looks like he's going to take that move. Uh, here's Exta after his really uh, unfortunate start to the race, uh, trying to move on the inside of the final corner on Trace. And I do believe that is going to get him DRS. Yep, and we skip ahead uh, in the replay, and he does have DRS, and he's got the inside line at turn one, and he's gone very wide, though. And it looks like he is just barely going to hang on to that position ahead of the caterham. Yeah, in fact, uh, just to come back to Matty, Matty's actually lost a couple of positions to Citizen and Powerpuff after that mistake and pit stop as well. And after being, what, maybe a second behind Fizzy, he is now probably four or five seconds behind so uh, Matty's lost out a huge amount with the fact that he's had to uh, stay on those option tyres for one lap extra. And now he's behind the battling Citizen and Powerpuff as Citizen sets the fastest lap of a 32.7. And uh, obviously with the aid of DRS as well, I think. But uh, he still set the fastest lap and he's right behind Powerpuff now for fifth place and 10 points. That would, uh, And I'm sure that would help him a lot in the championship. But Matty is right behind them and wanting to get past as soon as possible, I am sure. And Fizzy now two seconds behind Limitless, so he's lost a little bit more time. And uh, despite being on the same tyre strategy as Limitless. And Matty looking around the outside of Citizen here. So uh, it's going to well. They might well be even side by side coming down towards this double left hander. Let's have a look. Matty is sti still staying up the inside. Can he make this one stick? Yeah. Oh, it looks like he can. Although they're side by side. Citizen getting slightly on the curb. And Matty ahead. And now up into sixth place. A great move. And, uh, yeah, great. Oh. oh, brilliant. He's lag spikes right behind him. Thanks a lot, Coke Masters. <laughs> I'm sure that's what he is saying. But, uh, wow, he just cannot get any luck today. 
Wow, that is really unfortunate. I mean, that was really brave stuff to, to hang it side by side through turns 9 and 10. And great racing from, from the pair of them right there. That was just wonderful stuff to see as as uh, Maddie's getting a little bit of overseer at the exit of turn 13 there, possibly a little bit too much on the curb. And he is going to go side by side now. And can he shift into sixth gear? He finally does. And uh, it looks like he's having to look up the inside. And there's a little bit of contact with the Sauber there. And I think he was actually holding back in order to get the DRS for this very long start finish straight and maybe pass Citizen going into turn one uh, but really really fantastic racing from the pair of them uh, really brave stuff to go side by side through those corners yeah so Matty now and Citizen coming towards turn one and Matty just about makes it stick up into sixth place so he is dispatched of the Sauber driver despite being it being very close indeed but now up into sixth now Ricky has set the fast lap of a 32.5 unfortunately for him his race was pretty much ruined right from the get-go so he is just trying to pump in some fast laps and hope for maybe some incidents and uh, to hopefully maybe get one or two points but we shall see if Ricky can pull off some sort of miracle we're now with Fizzy who needs a miracle as well if he is going to get his first ever win in AOR F1. He's going to have to catch Limitless if he wants that. And uh, Limitless looks like he's just about managing to maintain that gap. Citizen now losing touch with Matty slightly. And Minty's now right behind him and may well catch him. Although Citizen should have DRS on Matty. Yes, he does. But Minty looks like he got maybe a slightly better exit looking at that arrow. Will he have a look up into this left-hander, which definitely is not an overtaking spot. And he does not. But uh, he's now to this, through this left-hander and, oh, catching the curb slightly. And, oh, my gosh, what's going on here? Minty and Citizen have both collided. And that means Exter and Trace and Gary all go through. And uh, that's really, well, it wasn't really their fault because he just clipped the curb and he just got spat out, didn't he, Justin? Yeah, that's really unfortunate stuff. The curbs can be lethal here in Bahrain, as I'm sure many viewers are aware. Uh, really difficult stuff. As we can see the replay here, uh, Citizen taking a lot of the inside curb in an, in an effort to try and let him go around the outside if needed uh, to go side by side, and then just clips that outside curb and loses about 100 positions, including one to Minty. Um, so really unfortunate there, but yeah, the curbs here can, are just, they're terrible. I mean, they can they can take your race and just completely destroy it. It really can, and that's a shame to see because, you know, you can have a perfect race and then just be completely chucked off the track by no fault of your own. And uh, so, yeah, let's hope to see not, not many more occasions of that, if any. And Matty now right behind Powerpuff. That curb there, in fact, that he ran slightly wide on is one of the curbs that can spit the cars out, so they're going to have to be very careful indeed. And now Matty and Powerpuff going side by side into the final corner. Matty making that move stick as well. Up back up into fifth place and ahead of Powerpuff. And his next position is Fizzy, but it won't be for long as Fizzy's now going straight past Maisie with the DRS and goes up into second place as now Powerpuff is coming back at Matty. Matty's gone defensive to the inside for turn one. Powerpuff now having a look and getting oh, taking a great line actually through turn one and he should get some good traction through two and onto the straight. And now Randy, Trace, they all can't be separated at the moment and Powerpuff has come back using a whole bar of curves. And uh, staying in standard fuel mixtures, he can seize up the inside of Matty. And Matty now still hanging it just about around the outside. They're so close. Indeed, Powerpuff gave him just about enough space. And uh, Matty now around the outside. And now the inside for the next corner is so close. And Powerpuff just had nowhere to go. And uh, neither driver wanted to give up the positions there. And Powerpuff just about losing out for, uh, to Matty there. And Matty losing the back end quite a lot through that corner. So his tyres are starting to wear already. But uh, Powerpuff just uh, taken out that DHL or whatever uh, sign that was. And slotting in just behind Matty. And we now cut to the Williams driver of KPTK. And Minty, as you can see, just ahead has just taken advantage of Gary. Who made that mistake. And it looks like KPTK is going to get passed as well. And he does indeed up into 10th place. And a single points paying position for now. But I'm sure he will be wanting a few more positions. If he is going to be satisfied with this race. He's got no curse for the rest of this lap. Meaning he could come under pressure from Gary. As we now cut to a replay of Citizen. Going very, very hard on the brakes causing to hit the Ferrari then losing the back end on the marbles and down into 13th place so it's uh, action galore still 12 laps and we've pretty much had action for about three races worth yeah unfortunately no style points for citizen for that uh, sweet drift at turn four uh, yeah there's no championship points awarded for that uh, definitely not the fastest way around the corner as Gary is struggling through turns two and three there and that's going to uh, let Leobot up into the final points paying position of 10th uh, which I'm sure he's saying thank you very much for. And there is that curb again as Exta is uh, falling victim to the to the horrible Bahrain curbs. Uh, and just as you were saying earlier, Maddie, I mean, you got to be really brave to ride the curbs here at this track. 
Um, you got to have a lot of confidence. You got to really know what you're doing. And uh, Exta, unfortunately, losing a couple positions to Randy McScrandy and Trace uh, in the in sector two there. And uh, Randy McScrandy now having a little bit a little bit of a look at Trace. He's got the DRS. He's got a full bar of curves that he can use as well. And he is going to be using a whole lot of that curves. And he's going to grab the inside line for turn eleven, which, as you said before, not really a passing location. But Randy makes it work. Moves up into fifth place. And again, I got to say, Randy having a great race. Possibly that penalty in China has just fired him up. Yeah, definitely. I'm pretty sure he's got used to having a penalty now, starting in the back at least, because he's had some poor qualifyings and then got a couple of penalties as well. So uh, Randy up into fifth place, so showing some good race pace, and that's Minty having a look potentially at Exeter into the final corner, but he doesn't, and Exeter's actually lost his Kurs, but uh, as we know for most drivers, well, for, <laughs> it doesn't affect them because it still works Kurs, so that's just a great uh, part of the game. Anyway, Minty now coming and trying to go up the inside of Exeter. They both are maxing out and uh, Minty very, very hard on the brakes and very late as well and managing to make the move stick up into seventh. A much better braking uh, manoeuvre than uh, the one he did uh, to Matty a few laps ago. But uh, Leobot being run out wide by KPTK and uh, down into 10th place. And, uh, well, it, KPTK pretty much gave Leobot what um, he... Uh, experienced on lap one so uh, he's just giving a bit of his own medicine to Leobot as well so uh, KPTK now right behind uh, behind Exeter in eighth position and there's sixth and seventh and fifth in fact going around that right hander as well of Randy McGrandy Exeter losing the back end once again so he's just drifting around all the corners now deciding oh, he doesn't oh. want to go back on the track for some reason unbeknownst to me and Leobot's gone straight into the back of him and lost part of his wing so that is I'm not sure what Exeter was doing there to be honest I think he just gave up on life and just decided he didn't want to come back on the track for some reason just go back on the track Track extra. What are you doing, son? Right there we go. So he's back on the track. Finally, he's found the black stuff, but he's lost about five positions, and he's caused someone else to lose part of their wing. And his curves is broken to boot. Just, just in case if you missed that, he's got no curves either. So his race has gone from uh, well, he, he had a really good qualifying, starting from fifth place. He had a really poor uh, couple of opening laps there, and then uh, lap 13 was just a nightmare for him there, uh, losing his curves, having that contact, having all the off tracks, having more oversteer. Um, and it's just, it just seems like it's all going wrong for the Sauber boys. It really does. And uh, Fizzy now 2.7 seconds behind Limitless. And Matty now closing in on these, this pairing out in front. He's managed to somehow come out of all of his um, errors and mistakes and being hit and losing time in the pits. And he's now 1.5 seconds behind Fizzy as we see Gary and Leobot going very close indeed. Leobot trying to hang it around the outside through turn two. There's nowhere to go there. And Citizen is, is watching them once again and hoping for something to happen. And uh, this is all for ninth, 10th and 11th place. Macy sets the fastest lap of, on his fresh rubber which uh, shows that he's got some pace in that Ferrari as Gary's gone wide once again. How many times have we seen this in the first 14 laps of this race? We're not even half distance and Gary's gone off the track a lot of times and he's down into 11th and may well try Citizen round the outside and test to see if the Sauber driver's going to give him any room. He does and Gary getting on the... Well, I don't know how he's got that much traction after being off the track so many times, but his tyres seem to be in a reasonable shape. Oh, as I say that, straight off the track once again, shock. And he is now off the track and down into 12th position. May well be 13th if Ricky can get DRS, but he doesn't. So Gary coming off the track once again. And maybe he's finding something really interesting by the wall. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, maybe maybe there's a, an attractive girl standing by the standing by the side of the track or something like that. But uh, yeah, he, I was going to say, you know, just about everybody seems to have better traction than Citizen. Uh, but then as you say, oh gosh, and I've gone and commentator cursed him right into the barrier and he has lost his entire front wing. So that, that is going to be a pit stop here on lap 14 for the Sauber of Citizen, whose race has just gone from bad to worse to worser I don't, I, we, we got to make up a new word for how his race is going horrific I think that's a good word. Anyway, KPTK, again, cannot be separated from Trace Me 92 at the moment, who is having a great race in the Caterham and really showing that he has still got the pace that we were sometimes thinking maybe it's gone, but it's still there. And Citizen in the pits now for another fresh set of prime tyres. 14 laps he's going to have to do on those, which is going to be interesting to say the least to see if he can manage that, as I'm pretty sure he's going to be driving on ice by the end of it. But we shall see. As Ricky and Extra are now coming to blows. Extra going slightly wide, which has allowed Ricky to use some of his curves and now go up the inside and uh, make the move stick. We've gone slightly wide. Extra can then have the, uh, well, basically the undercut and now the outside line for the right hander. And these two are now side by side, but Extra just does not have any grip at the moment. And I'm pretty sure he's just pitted and he's still losing the back end. So uh, that's that's uh, not good. Clearly some 
something significantly wrong in the setup of that Sauber. But anyway, we are now with the Williams driver right behind Tracy 92 and a Ferrari as well. And Trace going slightly hard on the curbs there, which has compromised his run. And this has allowed KPTK to maybe have a chance. But we've now cut to Ricky C, who's on that curb as well. No, get off the curb. And he's come off the curb, but not through his own doing, as he's now spun off it and lost a couple of positions. Ricky C having an absolute nightmare of an afternoon as he almost spins once again. Uh, and he's gone on the curbs. Just get off the curbs, Ricky. Honestly, you really don't want to be touching them. And uh, I'm pretty sure all the drivers and the pit, <laughs> the pit guys will be telling the drivers... Do not go anywhere near these curbs. They are dangerous today. Yeah, I mean, there's, there, you know, there's the the famous saying, "Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me." And it, you know, you, they they really should have learned at this point that the curbs are not the place to be. Um, you know, it might be it might be a, a couple of tenths slower not to be so aggressive on the curbs, but of course, you you don't run the risk of spinning or losing a wing or being forced to pit, destroying your tires. Uh, there's a number of benefits that come from not riding on the curbs. And unfortunately, it seems a, a lesson that uh, a lot of these drivers are learning the hard way as we're on board with KPTK. They had a great line through turn 10 there in the Williams and is just behind Trace. And he's using his DRS, but he's saving his curves very intelligently. He's way too far back to do anything about it. Uh, maybe even could use a, a bit of lean in order to uh, attack on the start finish straight at the end of this lap. Uh, but we are past the halfway point of the race at the moment. And it's it's very exciting in the midfield and the backfield. Uh, but up, haven't seen much going on up at the front it's it seems up at the front the gaps are just a little bit bigger than they are here in the midfield and backfield yeah limitless looking comfortable at the moment out in front hopefully we'll get a, uh, we'll cut to the guys in front of we, oh, we get power puff in fourth position coming into the pits for another fresh set of primes it looks like limitless fizzy and matty have all carried on so power puff going for uh, the undercut it looks like as uh, kptk finally gets past trace down the pit straight and power puff leaves his pit box with a 3.1 second pit stop so he is now on those fresh tires Will he come out in clean air? That is another uh, question as we now have Leobot in the pits and uh, the, the the guys just don't want to serve him by the looks of things. So he's lost probably four seconds there just waiting. I think his teammate came in the pits and he's coming a little bit too early. A 10 second pit stop. That is absolutely horrific from the Toro Rosso boys and I'm sure Leobot will have something to say about that after the race. But anyway, Limitless still out in front at the moment being very cautious on the brakes and I think that is why he's still out in front and hasn't made any mistakes is because he's just taken it nice and easily he's got plus one lap of fuel so he really does have everything at the moment in his hands to uh, defend that lead if need be but uh, at the moment it looks like it's pretty stalemate at the moment between Limitless Fizzy and Matty but uh, Matty has fresher tyres by one lap so possibly could have been reeling them in this lap but uh, it doesn't look like he had the moment. 1.9 seconds now Fizzy behind Limitless so he has gained about 8 tenths over the last few laps so Fizzy now starting to put himself back into contention for the victory possibly if Limitless makes a mistake then it is well and truly on. Limitless around the final corner now. Is he going to go into the pits? He's using the rest of his curse. He's going to carry on for another lap. That's interesting as Fizzy comes into the pits now. This could be the chance and Matty as well so they both die into the pits this could be a real chance for these two to catch right up to limitless with the undercut yeah absolutely this is a fantastic opportunity for these guys uh the undercut has proven already in this race to be supremely powerful as uh, as maddie learned in the opening uh in the opening stint and lost all those positions and all that time to the front runners but as you said he is going to have fresher tires and it is very close between limitless and uh fizzy but uh, Limitless is just barely keeping Fizzy out of that DRS range, which is uh, preventing him from having to go defensive and lose time. And as you said, he's just he's keeping focused. He's keeping it on the road. He's avoiding the curbs. He's saving his fuel. He's got plus, plus one lap of fuel just in case if he does come under attack from any drivers. And uh, just just like you said, he just needs to keep it keep keep his focus, keep it on the road, not make any mistakes. And I think he might have this in the bag. Uh, same goes for Fizzy, though, really. If he can just hang on to it and keep pumping in consistent laps, uh, then I think he can defend from Matty behind and get his first podium of the season. Definitely. It's just it's going to be the next 11 laps. Will anyone get caught on the curbs? Or will there be any incidents? We will find out as we now are with Powerpuff. And that's Maisie, who has just run wide as well and loses another position and down into seventh. Powerpuff up into sixth with Matty just down the road. Limitless now. He's 72,000 up on his previous lap time, showing that he hasn't lost too much time. Uh, doing this extra lap but uh, it's going to be interesting to see how fast Fizzy and Matty have been able to go 
on this uh, one extra lap they've had on the fresh tyres at the moment. Limitless now coming into the pits. He won't have any trouble from behind or getting held up as there is no one in his sights. And Randy should take the lead on his alternate strategy. He does indeed. Limitless leaves his pit box. And here comes Fizzy around the final corner. Where is Limitless going to come out in comparison? We are going to find out. Matty is now right behind Fizzy. So it looks like Fizzy may well come under pressure from Matty. And with 10 laps to go, Limitless now leaving the pits. Where are the guys? You can see him on the mini map. There's Fizzy. It's going to be close. It's going to be really close indeed limitless on cold tires as well and fizzy is right behind limitless so we now have a three-way battle for the lead powerpuff uh, takes the fastest lap at the moment for the 31.8 he's not out of it either if he can keep setting those lap times and it is game on for the win yeah absolutely uh real exciting stuff here this is the final stint of the race so no more pit stops for these guys it's gonna all come down to what they can do on the track as we're having to look at kptk as he's going side by side through turn four he's got the inside line on minty and can he take that position yep he does take that position he's gonna have the inside line for turn six and that is job done and who was that on the side of the track i think it was gary so i think gary's given up or lost the lost the will to live or just stopped but uh, Gary is now stopped on the side of the track and is now down into last. So I'm pretty sure, there you go, he's retired from the race. So uh, I'm not sure why he's retired. But anyway, we're going to focus on the battle for what is essentially the lead. And Fizzy Fan is, this is great to see. I've waited so long for Fizzy to be really in with a chance to win. And he's had a few opportunities and had some great podiums. But this, I feel, is one of his greatest opportunities to win a race. As Limitless does not look fast. He looks consistent, but he's not fast because he doesn't want to be hitting those curbs and he doesn't want to be risking it. And that's, see, look, you can just see under brakes even, Fizzy really pushing. And it, despite having one lap older tyres, he is right behind Limitless. And this is Fizzy now essentially going for the race lead. Can Fizzy get past the Red Bull? Let's have a look. He's going to use some of his curves. He's absolutely maxing out here. And he's got the inside line. Is Fizzy going to take the lead here? Turn one, here we go. Limitless just about managing to stay in front. And Fizzy now looking around the outside. Matty now getting involved in the action as well. Is Fizzy going to go for it? He is. He's just all this curse he's got into the back of Limitless, in fact. That was very, very aggressive defending from Limitless. And Fizzy now looking up the inside again. These two are going very hard indeed. And Limitless just about managing to maintain what is second place at the moment. And Matty is right behind as well. This is an absolute brawl at the moment. And Matty, as you can see, he's not afraid to go on the curbs. And he is pushing very hard indeed. And if he can get past Fizzy, then, well, Limitless could be really under pressure. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is frantic stuff. Just really, really crazy stuff. Fizzy, of course, is the one with the hardest job of all because he needs to try and get by Limitless while defending from the very, very fast x Matty G behind him in the other Red Bull. He's just in the middle of a Red Bull sandwich, and both of these guys are in a uh, in a championship battle with each other. So uh, Matty is certainly looking to get by Fizzy as soon as he can, but that's so that he could get by Limitless as soon as he can and uh, get back on with that inter-team battle that been going on um and you really uh, fizzy's got to get by him as we see he's actually on minus one lap of fuel so fizzy is pushing very hard currently does not have enough fuel to finish the race at this current rate um so he is going to need to do some fuel saving at some point in the next 10 laps here or i'm sorry nine laps as we're uh, crossing the, the finish line to start lap 21 now and x matty g's got the drs he's got the inside line on fizzy fan as well and they're hitting top speed now and they're gonna be breaking right around the 100 meter board and x matty g's got the inside line is limitless a head locks up and there's some tire smoke there and x matty g has taken the position from fizzy fan and he has moved himself up into a net second place position with limitless just ahead he is within drs range and it is on Despite all the bad luck the next manager he's had so far this race, he is now within with a chance of getting 25 points here, which I'm sure he would not have thought after qualifying eighth on the grid. And Fizzy looks like he is struggling. He's going to have to save some fuel. He puts it down into lean now. And his job will have to be to stay within the DRS zone of the two Red Bulls. And he's going to have to hope that these two fight very hard indeed so that he can stay within them and just drive consistently and uh, maybe have a chance at the end to come back at them. But at the moment, he's going to have to save some fuel. And if I were him right now, and put it back into standard. Gosh, we must think so alike as we, he puts it straight back into standard to maintain that gap and just to stay within one second so we can get DRS down the long straight, which is crucial, to be honest. As Limitless is now on optimal, so he's seen that his teammate is right behind him. So he started to push his fuel a little bit longer. Uh, a little bit more, sorry, as Randy is still out in front at the moment, but I'm sure he's going to be pitting maybe in the next two or three laps to go on to option. Oh, no, he's going now for option tyres. 
Okay, so uh, Radley's going to go and push those option tyres to the absolute limit. And uh, I'm pretty sure on lap 29 he is going to be feeling the pain. But for now, he's going to have some fresh options. And he is going to be absolutely rapid. As you can see on the minimap, the three leaders flying down the track towards turn one and power puff as well in fourth so randy should come out in fifth place on those option tires and here's fizzy watching matty and limitless going very close indeed and matty looked like he got some great run out of turn two there is he gonna have a go at limitless i don't think he has otherwise we would have probably cut to him randy does rejoin in fifth place just ahead of minty and kptk and uh, it's going to be crucial for randy to be able to extend the gap throughout this lap so that he doesn't come under attack after drs yeah, absolutely. As we're seeing a replay now at turn four of the Citizen getting an, uh, a switchback on the continents. Oh, and there's contact between them, and I believe both cars have spun as uh, just the Saubers once again just unfortunately getting getting no no relief whatsoever. Here we have uh, uh, Leobot coming under attack from Ricky C and at turn one, and it uh, looks like that was a pretty straightforward move from the Flying Irishman there in the Mercedes. It was indeed. We now cut again to another replay of Minty and KPTK coming to blows towards turn one side by side. Minty retaking the position with the aid of DRS and up back up into sixth place. And are we going to see a change for sixth place again? There's the DRS with the Williams and he's put it down to standard because he's already maxing out and he doesn't want to be wasting any extra fuel for no reason. And uh, Maisie, in fact, has retired from the race, me meaning that... Uh, there's no points for that Ferrari as KPTK just hits that curb and the, I didn't know turn one was uh, that bad. Sorry, turn two even was that bad, but uh, in fact he spun off that as well. So every single curb needs to be watched and Fizzy is still within the Red Bulls and the DRS of them. So that is great to see for if you're a fan of Fizzy fan. <laughs> That's a great fan. I shouldn't have said fan. But anyway, KPTK now going on the gravel and oh, he's just... Going, he's just getting a little bit too uh, feisty on the uh, accelerator, I'm assuming, as he's gone straight over the gravel and uh, lost even more time and uh, affected his tyres again. So he doesn't really want to be doing that too often. Otherwise, he is going to be slipping and sliding all around. As we now cut back to Fizzy, his teammate, and uh, Matty is still right behind Limitless. And it looks like Matty has the pace advantage at the moment of his teammate as he is right behind him. Limitless goes up into Rich. He saved pretty much all of his curves which may be the reason that Matty has the pace advantage over the rest of the lap. But, uh, oh no, Matty has some of his curves as well, so he is attacking and he's trying to get past his teammate. Here we go with DRS. Is he going to get close enough? I don't think he is. He's put it down to standard. 201 miles an hour. He's getting close. Limitless goes defensive towards turn one. And Matty slightly more confident on the brakes, having a look to the outside. So close and had to get out of it because Limitless's car was there and he did not want to be crashing. But uh, Matty's still behind his teammate at the moment in second and Fizzy still looking ominous, although in minus one lap of fuel in third. Yeah, this is really amazing stuff. Uh, I'm really glad that this is the race that I get to commentate for because this is just absolutely fantastic. I, I think half of the time I've been watching this, my my breath is, is being held, my heart is in my mouth. Just it's it's all happening on just about every lap. I don't think there's been a break for even a minute here in Bahrain. It's been really surprising as Matt, Matty G is coming under, uh, getting very close. The Limit, Limitless has gone wide, and X Matty G takes the lead of the race before the DRS activation has even happened. And uh, it looks like he does get DRS as well. So he gets by uh, after the DRS detection, but before the DRS activation. And Limitless now diving up the inside. Matty's going to have the switch back, though. And he's going to be able to carry a little bit more speed through turn two uh, than Limitless. And he has held on to that first place position. And Fizzy Fan just behind is, uh, uh, you got to wonder if he is smelling some sort of weakness on Limitless at the moment. And he's going to probably try and make a move on him uh, to try and move up to s back into second place, uh, which would be. Uh, as much points as the Williams team has earned in the last three races. Uh, so Fizzy Fan obviously is very motivated to get back into that second place position. And with the two Red Bulls battling side by side, uh, that's a, a, a fantastic opportunity for him as we see he's, he's gotten out of uh, out of the minus one fuel and, and into the optimal as we're seeing Power Puff with a little bit of an oversteer moment at turn 14 there. And that is unfortunately going to lose him a couple of positions. Um, so well and truly, the top three have quite a gap to the rest of the field now. They do indeed. Unfortunate for Powerpuff to get onto that kerb and losing fourth position to Randy, who is on those option tyres. I don't think Randy's going to be a, a problem for the top three as he's on options and they will start to degrade in the next couple of laps. And Limitless now is going to have DRS on Matty, who uh, is probably fuel saving at the moment after pushing so hard throughout the, the whole race. And here we go, Limitless with his curves and rich fuel mixture and DRS is surely going to get past his teammate. He is indeed. And uh, you can see now just flying past him with the extra pace. And Matty's using a little bit of his curves 
Paris, but not a lot because he wants to save it probably for the next. And they're so close going into that turn one. Limitless not giving any room. Cutting turn two for some reason, but uh, not deciding to stay on the black stuff. But anyway, staying in first position at the moment. Matty right behind him still. Fizzy looking like he's just watching these two and hoping they crash as Limitless almost gets hit by Matty. And now Fizzy's seen the opportunity and is now side by side with Matty. So can he get up the inside towards this right hand? And there's been, oh, there's been slight contact, I think, as Matty's been pushed wide and gone onto the curb as well. And that has allowed Limitless to push away slightly. So this is it. Fizzy is now, well, possibly caught, uh, well, yeah, it looks like more than a second from Matty to Limitless now. So it may well be a fight for second unless Matty can get back within the DRS zone. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see if he can. Obviously, Fizzy will have DRS on Matty here. But you can see Matty flying down the straight as he uses all of his curves to try and to try and get back uh, within a second of Limitless. And he's, well, he's, oh, he's, he caught the curb there and almost, I don't know what's gone on there. But it's a very weird reaction from the car. But uh, he's up into Rich. He's used almost all of his curves. And he's 1.2 seconds behind on one lap older tyres as well. This could be the turning point in the race. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, not looking good for Matty at the moment. It's looking very good for Limitless, though, as, of course, uh, he's got the very fast Fizzy trying to catch and pass x Matty G behind him, his teammate. Uh, so it's looking good for Limitless now as we start the penultimate lap of the race. Only two laps left to go, two full laps, and Fizzy Van's got DRS on the start finish rate, and he has flown by Matty, who is saving his curves. He's he saved his entire allotment of curves, so he's not even bothering to defend. And it looks like he is probably going to try and save some fuel and attack Fizzy Fan at the end of lap 28 here take that second place position for the final lap of the race and then just hope to defend it uh for that for that last 90 seconds of the race and grab that uh, uh that one two finish that they that the red bull team are looking for even if maddie's not the one in in the in first place i think he's conceded the fact that after that incident that um he's gonna have to try and get second and not first place here this afternoon fizzy just within or just outside sorry of drs so limitless hasn't had a particularly strong lap this lap but fizzy is just outside of it by the looks of things and with those slightly older tires as well for fizzy i doubt he's going to catch as he drifts through that left hander is he going to get drs no he isn't he's got a whole bar of curves almost and matty is behind not very close at the moment you have to say as limitless is still out in front going through this left hander now not going anywhere near the curbs not even trying to go anywhere near the curbs so uh, it's very consistent drive here from Limitless, who is tr who hasn't thought we didn't think that he was going to get any sort of top positions here this afternoon, but he's proved that he has been able to with the consistency. And uh, Fizzy in second place, putting up into Rich Fuel Mixture. He knows this is the crucial part where Matty will want to try and get past. And Matty is within DRS zone, and he's got a great exit through there, but he's got caught on the curb and pushed out slightly. And surely that must be it. That he's been completely thrown off the track by the curb, and that must be the the battle for second place over. Yep, I got to imagine that you're right. Uh, there, there's really no coming back from that, not in a 90-second lap. Uh, he's more than a second back. He's already out of DRS. He's got older tires. Uh, it's just really not looking good. Um, you got to say, it's pretty much decided as far as the top three are concerned at this point. As Fizzy Fan, though, uh, is running low on a little bit of fuel at the moment as we're uh, having a look at Ricky C, who's going along the outside for turn one. Uh, never mind, forget the outside. He's grabbed that position before they even turn the wheel for turn one, and he moves himself up into ninth place ahead of Exta, who is uh, probably going to be really hoping to grab that final points paying position as, oh no, he is not content with 10th place. He is going to have a look around the outside of turn four uh, on Ricky C here, and he is hanging it, but he's not going to have the inside line for turn six, and I imagine that Ricky C is going to take that position, and he does indeed, and uh, Exta just getting tons of oversteer. As you mentioned, it really seems like the Sauber boys may be having some trouble with the setup here in, ba in Bahrain. Yeah, it does seem that way. This is uh, very interesting. You don't tend to see uh, particular drivers struggling that much with uh, just the general oversteer and slipperiness of the car. But anyway, Fizzy, look, he's one and a half seconds behind his first ever AOR win, and that is how it's going to stay, unfortunately. As Limitless looks like he's well and truly won this race from pole position. He's managed to f uh, fight off his teammate and Fizzy as well to take a very, very good victory, which I'm sure he's going to be very happy about because he knew coming into this race he didn't have the pace or the overall raw pace, and uh, he just came through with brilliant consistency. Fizzy coming in an excellent second place. Matty third. Randy, a great recovery drive for fourth, and Power Puff. Well, what could have been for him possibly if he hadn't have hit that curb, but fifth for him. Minty sixth. KPTK seventh. Ricky on those curbs again. Maybe he'll learn one day not to go on those curbs, but he comes home with a couple of points, which I'm sure he'll be happy with after his start of, uh, to the race. But uh, here we go. Leobot, unfortunately, the first driver not to score any points. 
uh, that comes over the line and uh, finally Citizen coming home in 13th place so uh, not a great drive from him very disappointing for the Sauber team and here's a replay of uh, Fizzy Fan having a go at Limitless and uh, I'm not sure why we're seeing this but uh, we're going to enjoy it anyway and uh, this is very close indeed and uh, I guess it's just some highlights of uh, all the battling that we've had and Fizzy just trying to get past Limitless and just can't manage it and uh, then Matty getting past Limitless finally but then Limitless diving back up the inside and somehow managing to stop the car I have no idea how he's managed that but uh, he's just about managed it and uh, but unfortunately he got through, Matty got through that time Matty then let Limitless back through almost because uh, uh, well the idea obviously is to kind of DRS each other all the way to the finish but then there was this where Matty just locked slightly too late gave Fizzy that opportunity Fizzy could have possibly backed out of this but instead you know he just hung it around the inside but due to the slight lag sync issues hit Matty off slightly and that is what sort of halted the battle for first and then Fizzy and Matty no oh, that was the uh, deciding factor for second place so yeah, Limitless well, I think the only mistake Limitless made was that that final turn on lap 25. I think that was really the the only mistake that he made all race long. It was fantastic drive from Limitless, who takes first position in 45 minutes and 37 seconds from Fizzy Fan. A fantastic result. I'm sure one of the fans' favourite. They're going to be very happy with that result. 1.6 seconds off the win. It will come one day, I'm sure. x Manny G finishing in third. A disappointing result for him, considering he was fighting for the lead at one point. Randy McScrandy, a great recovery drive from 14th on the grid to 4th. Powerpuff finishing in 5th position. He wanted a podium this weekend. He comes home with 5th. Minty finishing in 6th position ahead of KPTK, who could not be separated from Trace Me 92, who finishes in 8th position and 4 points. Ricky C, a disappointing result for him in 9th with only 2 points. And Exeter, the final points paying position in the Sauber in 10th. Leobot, Continent, Citizen and Maisie all miss out with Gary as well. Did not finish, and Rosberg obviously retired right at the start of the race due to the lag issues that he was um, experiencing, and all of the other drivers as well that were saying to him, "Guys, you, you, you've got to leave Rosberg. You really do." But anyway, Citizen set the fastest lap of a 30.7, and uh, well, that was one of the most fascinating Grand Prix I've ever had the privilege of commentating on. And uh, obviously, for you, Justin, you haven't commentated before, but wow, what a race! Yeah, that was absolutely amazing. You know, I, I watch it every every time. I've seen every episode of, of this that comes out. I watch every single one of them, and that that's right up there. That was one of the best races. I mean, just just like uh, in in Bahrain earlier this year with Mercedes. I mean, what a battle for the lead between the two teammates. Fantastic stuff. It was indeed the drivers' championship. Matty, 15 points now ahead of Limitless, with uh, Minty up to third. And uh, you can see the rest of them. There's been quite a few changes between sort of third and 12th position. Trace actually losing a couple of positions despite sc scoring some points. And that is thanks to KPTK and Powerpuff going up. Powerpuff, a great result with that 10 points. And uh, you can see in the drop zone at the moment, it's Maisie, Citizen and Exeter. Exeter only with that one point at the moment. And I think he scored it here this afternoon. So I'm, I'm guessing he's going to hope for a couple, well, a couple, <laughs> quite a few more points come the rest of the season. And the Constructors' Championship, as you can see, Red Bull absolutely still steaming away with the championship with Mercedes, uh, Williams, Ferrari and Toro Rosso and Marussia looking pretty close. Mercedes obviously having that 21 point lead over Williams and Williams up to third with that strong result from Fizzy up in third. Uh, sorry, third, second even. I don't want to take away a podium position from him. But yeah, Fizzy, a great result. 18 points for that Williams team. And I'm sure they're going to be very happy indeed. Marussia, unfortunately, down to sixth with Rosberg retiring. And Sauber looking particularly weak at the moment, only on five points. And, uh, well, the next race is going to be the Spanish Grand Prix for round five. I'm sure there's going to be a bit more rain in the air than Bahrain. Because, uh, well, Spain's always uh, uh, kind of given you great action in the past. And I'm sure season eight will not disappoint. Thank you very much, Justin, for commentating with me today. Oh, it was my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. I had a great time. It was absolutely great. And we'll see you next week for the Spanish Grand Prix. Bye-bye.